It has been a great year for smartphone buyers, seeing the arrival of stellar smartphones such as the Google Pixel 2, the iPhone X, Galaxy S8, and the Galaxy S8 Plus, all phones that give the market a much needed boost with a number of never before seen technologies. But which of these phones is the best? Or will a new under the radar phone take the crown this year? Well, in this video, we're gonna break down the top five best smartphones on the market this year. So if you're interested in finding out which smartphone will be best for you, stay tuned. Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the five best smartphones on the market this year with a focus on price versus performance. As always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We also keep the description up to date with additional information we might not get a chance to mention in this video. And if any newer versions of these products are released or any better products are released, we will be updating the description down below along with the links to find the best price on each product. So. For the most updated information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out that description. Now this list is in no exact order, so be sure to watch till the end to find which product is best for you. Starting off our list, we've got one of the most popular Android devices on the market, the Samsung Galaxy S8 S8 Plus. Samsung's flagship phone has all the features most people look for in a smartphone, and then some. Both the S8 and the S8 Plus have an excellent design and a beautiful display that stand out versus previous generations of this phone. These S8 siblings are designed to meet the very high expectations of Android users and are equipped with all the features needed in a top-notch smartphone. The S8 and S8 Plus have rounded edges and are sleeker and smaller than the Note 8. The smartphones have glass and metal bodies that mesh perfectly with their Infinity displays. The displays are measured at 5.8 and 6.2 inches respectively for the S8 and S8 Plus. The display is a super mold that offers clear and crisp images and videos, and the aspect ratio is 18.5 to 9, which is really impressive. The SA and S8 Plus are equipped with Snapdragon 835 and have a 64GB onboard storage and 4 gigs of RAM. This memory is also expandable through a microSD card, which in my opinion is one of the most important features on the Galaxy. The phone is very powerful and gives an amazing performance for app-based gaming, video watching, browsing, and running various apps. Thanks to the advanced software, users won't face any lag or dropped frames while using the phone. There is an iris recognition technology too that's very handy and useful if you want to keep your device protected. Samsung has introduced an AMP camera at the front with a smart autofocus system. The front facing camera has received major upgrades, which will help take some awesome selfies. Even if you're in low light, the pictures you take with these phones will be clear, bright, and crisp. The rear camera is a 12MP one with dual pixels and f1.7 aperture, LED flash, phase detection autofocus, and optical image stabilization. Next up is the Google Pixel 2, the new and highly anticipated smartphone designed by Google. The Pixel is already widely known for its camera, performance, storage, and unique functionality that it seems only Google can offer. As compared to other Android phones, the Google Pixel 2 is quite different. It's made up of aluminum, it has a textured body, and offers a solid grip to the holder. The phone is waterproof, and the glass panel provides a good resistance to scratches. There are thick bezels, and the screen is a full HD 1080p one. The display is a 5-inch AMOLED, which offers a crisp view and saturated colors to the viewer. The Google Pixel is a quick and advanced phone, which uses Snapdragon 835 and 4GB of RAM. It includes a 64GB onboard storage, while the pricier model comes with 128GB of storage, along with the widely advertised cloud storage, which offers for unlimited lifetime storage through the cloud. It has amazing dual front-facing speakers, and the sound is way better than its predecessors. The Wi-Fi performance is also very good, and the call quality is excellent. It uses Android 8 software, which provides a smooth and quick experience to the user. The Pixel 2 uses a 12MP camera with an f1.8 aperture at the rear. It provides amazing images with focus on even the smallest details in the picture. The camera performs very well even in low light, but the images are less saturated as compared to the images obtained from the S8 or the iPhone 8. The front facing camera is an 8MP one, which also provides great results for selfies. The video capturing ability of this camera is also smooth and beautiful. The battery of this phone is also a very powerful one. The phone offers a good standby time, and if you leave it the entire night, it'll only lose a small percent of the battery. The charging is also quick, only 15 minutes of charging can allow you to obtain 30% of its battery life back. Next up, the iPhone X. The Apple iPhone X was the most anticipated phone of this year, and despite having a name that causes mass confusion between people who call it the iPhone X and the iPhone X, it is without a doubt the best phone released by Apple to date. Apple has brought substantial changes to the design and offered a full screen experience to its fans. It has no home button and thus it is quite unique and truly unlike any other phone released by Apple. The iPhone X, or X has an all-screen design and an impressive display. The display is very clear and is one of the best screens ever designed on a smartphone. The display is 5.0 inches OLED and the sharpness and image quality are much better than the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. 
The displays edge to edge and being super retina offer excellent high resolution images and videos to the viewer. The obvious flaw everyone points out is a black bar at the top of the screen. If I'm honest, I would prefer if they blacked out the entire top section so you don't have to see those weird corners when watching something, but it still is undeniably good quality. The facial recognition features on this phone are very impressive. Although it's definitely not perfect, when it works it's very nice to have. It uses the Apple A11 Bionic processor and a 64 or 256 gigabytes of storage. The operating system of this phone is iOS 11 and it offers LTE connectivity and Wi-Fi 802.11 AC. The lack of a 128GB option caused a lot of questions for a lot of people, but the cloud-based storage through Apple should resolve most people's issues if you get the 64GB option. The rear camera is a 12MP dual one with OIS. It has an f2.4 aperture, and the wide-angle lens has image stabilization too. The front-facing camera is a 7MP true depth camera and makes the iPhone XX one of the best selfie capturing cameras. The front-facing camera is used to facilitate the face recognition feature. It also provides amazing results in the portrait mode and the light images are also up to the mark. The images captured from both cameras are crisp and vibrant with an improved contrast ratio. The iPhone X comes with a wireless charging feature and the battery performance is above average. When the battery is dead, you can charge it to 100% in two hours and 15 minutes. The battery used in this phone is a 2716 Ma, which is larger than the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. If you wanna go more in depth on some features and updated pricing, as well as on all the products mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. And I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think is the best phone of 2017 and why? Leave a comment down below and let's keep the conversation going. Next up is the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Huawei Mate 10 Pro is an advanced and top-notch smartphone launched by Huawei, which has been offering good competition to other flagship phones of this year. It has an excellent design, a powerful battery, and a pretty perfect camera. The Mate 10 Pro has a premium design with a bezel -less screen. The body is a mixture of glass and metal, and overall, it looks very classy. It is sleek and lightweight, and uses OLED technology for the display. The aspect ratio is 18-9, to 9, which is similar to the iPhone X and the Google Pixel 2. The OLED screen is vibrant and crisp, and makes gaming and viewing videos much more fun and smooth. The screen resolution is 1080 by 2160 and thus it isn't the sharpest as compared to the 4K ones. Still though, it looks great. The Mate 10 Pro has a lot of storage, but it has no headphone port or micro SD slot. The storage is double than that offered by most other phones at 128GB, which is quite amazing. You can thus install a lot of games and movies. It uses EMUI 8 and offers a smooth and fast experience to the user. Android 8 is also used in this phone and it has some new and amazing features, such as picture-in-picture -picture viewing and UI highlights. This phone also offers dual 12 MB cameras at the rear, which is equipped with OIS, a color RGB sensor, and black and white sensor. It has an f1.6 aperture for both cameras. The low light performance is also up to the mark, and there are shooting modes too to improve its performance. The front camera is an 8 MP one, and that too looks pretty good. The phone is equipped with a powerful battery, which charges quickly and has a long life. It has a battery larger than other flagship phones, and thus is perfect for those who want a long lasting battery. Last but not least is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Note 8 is equipped with an excellent camera and an infinity display, which gives amazing performance. The goal of this phone was ultimately to compete in the high-end smartphone market and offer a valid alternative to the phone such as the iPhone X, and I think it does just that. The Samsung Note 8 has a 6.3 inch infinity display, and overall the size is huge. It is water resistant up to five feet, which is pretty impressive. It is taller than all the other Note phones designed up till now. The screen is a bezel-less one, and the display is made up of Corning Gorilla Glass. The screen resolution is 2960 by 1440 pixels, which is very sharp and crisp. The Note 8 uses advanced software as well as a stylus. Though it is expensive, it delivers good value for the money. The phone is loaded with advanced features such as S Pen and Bixby. The phone also offers split-screen apps. Although the fingerprint sensor is not too impressive as it's located on the back, it is still handy. The Note 8 has a 12MP camera with a wide-angle lens of an f.17 aperture. There is another camera of 12MP and f2.4 aperture with a 2x optical zoom. The camera is equipped with OIS, and the images captured with it are not blurred at all. The front-facing camera is also an impressive one, and is wide enough to be used for good selfies. So what's the verdict? Which of these phones is best is totally based on opinion and usage. There are slight differences in performance and specs, but overall these phones are all top-notch. If you're an Apple lover, obviously the iPhone X would likely be your go-to pick. If you love Android and want something great regardless of price, the Note 8 might be the best for you. And if you're wondering what phone I use, I am currently using the Samsung Galaxy S8. I personally don't care too much for a huge display, and based on price versus performance, I think it's the best, but again, that's based on my preference. You can't go wrong with any of these picks.
All right, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked it, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you liked it, consider subscribing. We also do all kinds of videos like this over a number of products, all aimed at providing the best products and making purchasing decisions easier. If we missed a product you personally love, feel free to leave a comment down below and let everyone know more about it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I will see you guys later.